We place a priority on finding ALTs safe, affordable housing within a reasonable commute of their placement. Depending on the placement, housing options may be. If Alil's Palace is not available, Intrac can also assist with obtaining furniture and appliances to ensure our ALTs are able to start life uh, and work comfortably. According to a Nikkei survey and the Ministry of Labor, the average monthly salary in Japan between 2018 and 2019 for an entry-level position was between 206,000 yen and 217,000 yen a month. This puts Intrac's salary in the normal range for a Japanese company. I That's bullshit. So as some of you may know, Interact put out a video on YouTube called Top 5 Interact Myths. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to link it in the description, but it starts out pretty good with some useful information, but and slowly but surely goes off the tracks. I thought it might be useful if I offered my own thoughts on the video. A little history about me, if you didn't watch my previous video, I've been living and working in Japan for the past 13 years, 10 of them in the English dispatch industry at one level or another. I've worked all sorts of positions, including what is essentially the human resources representative or manager for a branch in that dispatch company. So with that experience, I understand what's going on behind the scenes in the English dispatch industry, so I might be able to offer some insights. So let's take a look at these myths one by one. So first we get myth number one, housing. You're getting ripped off. Don't live in a Leo Palace. A real quick note, all of these quotes are attributed to someone, but I looked them up and none of them actually exist. I thought it would be kind of strange for a large company to put a Reddit user on blast like this. Anyway, Interact replies by saying this. We place a priority on finding ALTs safe, affordable housing within a reasonable commute of their placement. Our staff works to find the best apartments within a reasonable budget and in a location relative to an ALT's placement. And this is true. Dispatch companies do work to get you the best housing they can find that is both affordable and near your location. They don't go out of their way to get Leo Palace, and in fact, Leo Palace is actually quite nice if you're just moving out here. In any event, if you don't like the Leo Palace, you can go find something on your own. I kind of want to go on a bit of a rant here that English dispatch companies are different from the JET program, where the JET program kind of acts like your babysitter and helps you with every little thing. The English dispatch company isn't there to do the same thing. You know, you're not doing them a favor by working for them. They're giving you a paycheck. But on the other end, they're also not doing you a favor by letting you work in Japan. No, you're doing a job, so you deserve money. Either way, I get the feeling that a lot of ALTs get upset about their companies not doing more to help them out, but I think it's kind of unreasonable to require these things from your company. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Let's keep watching the video. They go on to say something kind of strange. Intrac can also assist with obtaining furniture and appliances to ensure our ALTs are able to start life uh, and work comfortably in a new location. What exactly do they mean by assist? I mean, this could mean anything from them giving you the materials that you need to just pointing you to a store and saying, okay, go buy the stuff you need. I've heard of some dispatch companies offering basic amenities like a plate and a fork, but nothing like microwaves or washing machines or whatever else you might need. So it's really unclear what they mean by this. Anyway, this is definitely a myth. You're not getting ripped off with a Leo Palace or anything like that. Interact does really try to get you in a good place near where you need to work. And I think Interact specifically is really good about this. There are other companies that may put you in a place that requires over an hour drive to your school, but you don't know any better because you just got out to Japan and you think that this is normal. God, that commute sucked. Okay, myth number two, proration. Half of the year, you don't get full pay from Okane-chan. Okane-chan. You get it? It's a joke. <clears throat> so apparently a lot of people are still under the misconception that Interact only offers full pay for parts of the year. So in times like summer and winter, you only get a prorated rate. But apparently that's not the case anymore. And I think that's good that they pay people a flat rate throughout the year. I don't think it's a good idea to have fat months and skinny months. It just leads to a lot of trouble. 
However, something in this part of the video really gave me pause. Let's take a look. We should also point out that Interact was able to pay full salaries to all of our ALTs during the COVID-19 shutdown in spring 2020. So this is where the video starts to jump the rails. Interact is trying to sound like it was being very benevolent or something during the COVID crisis, but they were just fulfilling their contractual obligations. We need to remember that schools are not like restaurants where they're reliant on how many people come each week or come each month. Each school is getting money from the Board of Education, and the Board of Education is getting money from the government. Then the BOE or the school pays your company directly. None of this is related to how many people go to school or how many days they go to school in general. If a teacher can't go to school, that's why most dispatch companies have something like an office day where they work in the office. The pay for that day doesn't suddenly go away. So Interact trying to act like they did something really special or great for their employees is really just bullshit. And it's only going to get worse from here. Here we go, myth number three. Location, hope you like the countryside. That's where you're going. And this is how the video replies. And I want you to listen carefully to this reply. See if you can catch what they're doing. Interact has positions across Japan. Positions can vary greatly from very small villages off the coast of southern Kyushu to schools with views of Tokyo Tower from the courtyard and literally everything in between. Did you catch it? There's a really nice sleight of hand there. I mean, they talk about how, yes, we have positions from hut villages all the way to Tokyo, and that's technically true, but the myth said, you know, you're going to the countryside. And that's just true. The majority of the positions are in the countryside and not in Tokyo. So instead of addressing this myth, they basically just confirmed it. It's just true. Okay, okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on, Interact says. We have a transfer system. And yes, most dispatch companies have some sort of internal transfer system, but everyone's trying to get to Tokyo or some other major city. No one wants to go from Inaka 1 to Inaka 2. So just because you have a transfer system doesn't mean you're going to have a greater chance of getting to Tokyo. The positions there are limited, so more often than not, you're going to have to stay in the countryside. Now, to be fair, dispatch companies do try to transfer you to where you want to go, and they have every reason to do so. They do that because if they don't, they know you're unhappy, so you might not perform as well at your schools, and they know you're going to be looking at other companies, and it's really tough to change out ALTs in the middle of the year. So companies will do their best to transfer you, but again, the reality of the situation is there's only so many positions in Tokyo or the big major metropolitan cities, so the chances of going out there are slim. Okay, let's move on to myth number four, and boy, do I have a lot to say about this one. This one we get salary. You can't live on that salary because Japan is expensive. Karen's mom via Facebook. It's a Karen joke. Well played, Interac. First off, I don't think anyone actually says this. No one says you can't live in Japan on that salary. They just say that it will be difficult to live in Japan on that salary. And it's very clear that you can live on that salary. And the proof being hundreds and hundreds of ALTs are currently doing it right this moment. So this really isn't a myth per se. What really interests me in this section is the video starts showing off a bunch of numbers. And anytime you start showing concrete numbers, you know someone is gonna go check them. Well, so first, Interact shows this graphic that says, the average rent in Japan is 46% less than in Los Angeles or New York City. But please, show your sources. What I was able to gather, and I'll link it in the description below, is that in New York, the average rent of a one-bedroom apartment is $2,654, while the average one LDK rent in Japan is about $600. For Tokyo specifically, a 2LDK, a rather larger apartment, is about 1430 which is about half of what it is in New York. But the national average for a 2LDK in Japan is $680. 
So I don't know what they were trying to prove here because it's not 46% less, it's like 75 or 80% less, which is what they should have shown. So I'm not sure who was doing the research on this one. Anyway, next the video goes on to say that from 2018 to 2019, the average starting salary for an entry level position was between 206,000 to 217,000, according to a Nikkei Shimbun. First, I could not find that article when I searched in English and in Japanese. So again, please cite your sources. And two, they don't give any indication what they mean by an entry level position. Is this for high school graduates, no high school, university? From my research that of course I will link below, it looks like they're talking about average salaries for college graduates. However, there's a big difference between a Japanese college graduate starting an entry level position in Japan and an ALT coming out to work for an English dispatch company. And those are two points. One, the Japanese worker is working towards a career. And two, the Japanese worker gets bonuses. So according to the information I found, which is more recent than the information referenced in the video, the average salary is more like 210,000 yen per month. But that doesn't include the bonuses. Even if you include the lowest bonus, which is 170,000 two times a year, it turns out the average starting salary is more like 235,000 yen per month. Now, if we take the average bonus, which is 290,000, that gives us an entry level salary of about 258,000 yen per month for a Japanese college graduate. So, sorry Interact, your salary is not in the normal range for an entry-level salary in Japan. It's quite lower, in fact. And I should stress again, the Japanese workers are working towards a career. ALTs really aren't, and that's kind of said directly in the next myth. So we get to our final myth, Myth 5, which states, Career. You can't be an ALT forever. Don't waste your time. Day. So Interact does something actually really good here, which is address the elephant in the room. You really can't be an ALT forever. Now this is kind of a separate rant that I'm going to have to do later, but being an ALT long term is really unstable. And at least now Interact is trying to offer some sort of career path, but things are not as good as they're making it out to look. So basically what Interact is doing is they're setting up a training program where people come into the office, they get trained to work various internal positions, and then after a year, if there's an open position, they send them to it. One of the things you have to remember, though, is that those positions, when he says they're extremely limited, he really means limited. I'm talking a handful of positions, most likely. So while there is some sort of career growth being offered, it's only going to be offered to a very select number of people. But to be fair, it's good that they're offering some sort of training program. Because if you took the previous manager, booted them out unceremoniously, and then stuck an ALT in that position without any sort of training at all, it might just go horribly for everyone involved. Anyway, one of the funny things I thought they said in the video is that they recognize that not all ALTs want to be ALTs forever, and some people are looking for professional or personal growth. Really? Who isn't looking for these things? Everyone wants that. Everyone comes out to Japan with the idea that they're going to use this as a springboard for their career. So those were the major things that they said that really stuck out to me, but there was one more thing that kind of stuck out, and... I don't know if it's just me, but is the quality of this video really bad? Like, I know I'm in no position to judge because my videos are pretty crappy too, but I'm just some guy doing this as a hobby in between shots of rotgut vodka. I'm gonna be a YouTuber. Interac is a fairly big company who probably should pay a bit more attention to their image and what they're putting on the internet. I mean, just look at something like this. On every myth screen, you can see that the Interac logo is a bit cut. They also cut text, as you can see here. They also repeat a B-roll clip once right after itself. Man, I love this graph. And so does Interac, because they use it 
three times within the span of a minute. It's almost like they didn't let anyone try lines over again. Here, the narrator makes up a new word. To apply for permanent employee status or say Cheyenne status. We have our work life, what now? Use their work life balances provided by working with Interact uh, to earn advanced degrees. And finally, a collection of five us. But not limited to Leo Palace. Uh, to start life, a uh, full year of training, uh, working on say Cheyenne status uh, from the following with Interact. Uh, to earn advanced I don't know. Overall, it just seems like an intern or someone on an office day came in and cut this together in a couple hours, which again is fine if this is just your hobby and you're just throwing shit onto YouTube. But if you're trying to be the face of a company, maybe you should pay someone a little bit more to come up with something a bit more refined. So those are my impressions of the new Interact video, Top 5 Interact Myths. I hope you found something in it educational or helpful. And please remember, these are just my opinions and they may not accurately reflect reality. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about working or living in Japan or dispatch companies specifically, I stream on twitch.tv slash rstavial. If you pop into chat, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for coming around and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.